in a Muslim society, you know, the schools, madhahib, they became very important. And everybody, when they learn the prayer, they learn a kind to madhahib. That is a kind to Hanafi way, Maliki way, Shafi madhahib. You know, people learn aqidah, so they learn a kind to madhahib. Ashari, Maturidi, and this and that. All the people keep them. They are very important. There are so many books written in every madhahib. And some people think really you can't be Muslim unless you follow madhahib. People think if you don't follow madhahib, they think you are not a proper Muslim. So uh, that is so deep. But when you look in the Quran, Quran never teaches the madhab. When you look Sunnah, the Prophet never teaches the madhab. And all the madhab and schools they develop later on. Then people ask, you know, can you mix them? Can you do? So in this course, I'm going to teach you really that what real thing, what deen is, that Allah, what is Millah Ibrahim is. That the Quran calls people to follow the Millah Ibrahim. Quran commands the people to follow the deen. So what deen means, what Millah means, and then why people have to develop schools. Do they add anything? Do they really help? Are they helpful to people? And are there, is there any harm to following the madhab? Can people be Muslim without following the madhab? Or can people mix between two madhabs together or three madhabs or four madhabs? Or can people choose and pick and choose? Sometimes follow this madhab, sometimes follow this madhab in this matter. So these questions all the time keep coming to people's mind. So what actually is the uh, you know, place of madhab, madhab in, the, in the Islam? and how important they are, you know, and how important to follow them. And uh, is it possible that we don't follow them? And is it possible that we choose, pick something from here, there? So many of these questions, inshallah, in this one day class will be answered. It is very important because in our time, many people divide the believers because of the madhab. The Hanafi, Malik, they don't realize really, it is something very small. Real thing, something else, Allah divides people on the basis of the values, taqwa, you know, fear of Allah. Those who taqwa, do taqwa, they are better than those who don't, taq, don't do taqwa. People who pray, they are better than those who don't pray. But we divide people on the basis of the human opinions, schools and madhavs. So I advise all of you that, you know, really, uh, in those who don't, uh, never attended any course like that, attend that and get an answer of your questions that come to you. And also, if you have any, many more questions, you can ask the same day, inshallah.